Hey guys, let's dive right in to a super cool custom knife that my good buddy Alex sent up to me. I'll put a link to his channel down below, the Knifebox channel. You guys have heard me talk about him a million times, so I will just get on to the knife. Okay, this is from Medina Custom Knives. Uh, Fernando Medina is the maker. Here's a little information about it, which we'll talk about. Comes in a very cool, you know, not a super, you know, fancy box, but it comes with a box with a magnetic closure uh, and just some paper down the bottom, which is just kind of cool. I mean, you guys have heard me talk about packaging quite a lot. Um, and I think that's cool. That's that's a little bit step above a zippered pouch, right? I mean, here's a your standard zipper pouch. You know, this is from Old Dominion Knife Works. That's how his come. So we'll actually leave that out. We'll do size comparison with that one. How about that? Do custom, custom, right? I brought out a couple of other uh, size comparison knives, but yeah, we'll leave that out too. So this is the Hellcat. And this is one of Alex's favorite knives. This is one of his babies, if you will. Uh, so closed is four and five eighths. Overall is exactly eight inches. The blade is 3.39 with a cutting edge of 3.3. The blade steel is from Vegas Forge uh, and it's a razor wire Damascus and we'll zoom in on that in just a minute. Blade thickness is 0.157. Overall thickness is 0.631. Runs on bearings and weighs in at 6.6 ounces. Now some people are going to say, wow, six ounces, that's a lot. So I brought out a couple other ones and I don't normally compare the weights, but I did, right? So the battle, which is much bigger and we'll, you know, kind of do size comparison at the end, that's 10 ounces and it gets carried. Um, and your Demco AD20, which is slightly bigger, comes in at 7.3 ounces. Okay, so 6.6 .6 ounce knife is really not that heavy to carry around. So let's zoom in and take a close look at this amazing razor wire Damascus blade. I love a Damascus blade. Okay, it's one of my favorite types of blades. Got some little dust on there. Uh, zirconium bolsters. Westinghouse micarta scales and pivot collar. Just done super clean. I believe it's also a zirconium pocket clip. And it is a Westinghouse micarta backspacer as well, which looks really nice. The contrast between the gray and the orange-ish, burnt orange color maybe, rust almost. I think that looks great. You got the clip, you got the orange, you got this liner, orange, liner, orange. I mean, I just think the color combination is awesome. It's titanium liners, I believe, um, and they're bead blasted as well as the zirconium is a blasted finish. And it has a little bit of texture to it. I don't think you can see it. It's it's like a fine sandpaper-ish. So there is a difference in texture between these two materials, but you can't really feel the seam, okay? Because it's done really well. So obviously you can feel the difference in material, but that's about it. And I love kind of a matte finish zirconium, okay? I had a fifth 23 from um, Custom Knife Factory. And it had polished zirconium backspacer and bolsters. Man, you look at that thing wrong and you would get fingerprints or you'd get marks on it. It was crazy. So this feels really good in the hand. Nice finger choil. It's, it's a smaller finger choil, if you will, but it fits my finger. Now, the Warncliffe type blade, these, you know, straight blades like this, not really my style, but super functional. Super, you know, penetrate and cut and do utility work with this. 
absolutely fantastic for that. And the fit and finish on this is great. This is something that Alex carries a lot. The other thing I love about Damascus is if you look at it on the backside and on the edge. Because you can see those layers coming through on the, the flipper tab as well. It's just, you know, the backside where the finger choil is. So it's a beautiful, not just from the face of it, but also from the edge. Not so much here where they have the swedge, but you can kind of see. But it's very thin. But yeah, I mean, just up here by the tip, just beautiful. It's just, that's what I love about Damascus, is it's just great to look at. So let's do a couple of quick size comparisons here. Now, Medina Custom Knives makes several other models. They actually made one, I don't know if it was just a one-off custom, uh, Hellcat with a thumb stud, which looked pretty cool I saw online. That's the Sharpie and the Delica. And then we're going to go to a couple of other different knives just to kind of give you some idea. So here's the 8020, which I know is super hot and popular these days uh, at the time of filming anyway. So just to give you an idea there. And then the 8020 in G10 is the same size, but, you know, just to kind of show. And then since we're talking Damascus, let's look at the battle because we did bring that out. Different type of Damascus for sure, sand my versus razor wire. So just, you know, to give you kind of another idea. As far as another custom, the Direware Solo V5. Little bit shorter, but much taller and thicker. You know, just different, but again, a custom knife. And the Old Dominion Knife Works with a Damacore blade um, with white micarta around the pivot collars and then a big basket weave um, scales. So, and this is a knife I picked up in a trade, which is awesome, um, but it is for sale. This has a Timascus clip, but it is for sale. If anybody's interested, just hit me up. Um, so yeah, this is just super cool. It's like a tank of a knife. Solid lockup, feels great in hand, just, yeah, it's great. And I'm, I'm super thankful for Alex for sending that one up because it is a little different than what I normally get to show here. I haven't shown a lot of custom stuff lately. Uh, so I either need to buy some more customs, which I'm trying not to do because I'm saving for something else, uh, or I need to get some other friends to send me their customs. <laughs> so, yeah. But I do actually have a custom that's on its way to me on Monday. Well, tomorrow from the day I'm filming this. Um, so there will be an unboxing coming of that and then a video of that here shortly. Um, and I did just buy another custom recently that I did an unboxing for. I sent it down to my uh, repair guy because the clip was super tight. So he uh, fixed the clip so that there's it can actually be used. And then we did a couple other little th fun things that we'll talk about when it gets back to me in a few days. Because um, I'll do a full video on that as well. So there you go, guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, I greatly appreciate it. Have a great day.